We're here at Talafest here in Tala Village and I'm standing on top of a Dublin City electric tram from 1896 and I'm with Bill Garriott from the National Transport Museum who's going to tell us just a brief uh, history of the tram here today. This tram would have been built in about in 1896 and would have seen service in the city centre out as, maybe as far as Holt, Dorky. And these trams were open toppers and they eventually came out of service in the mid 1920s when the larger enclosed trams and balcony trams came onto came into service. A lot of people bought the bodies of these trams for holiday homes that have ended up at the seaside or in, in the country somewhere. We were lucky to find this tram in a field in Abbey Leagues in the 80s and it was in very bad condition and a team of eight of us got together and restored the tram over a period of 11 years working on Saturdays and we ended up with the tram you see here today. We finished it in 1999 stroke 2000 and it's been out at festivals, films, it's a popular vehicle. And tell me Bill, the significance here today at Telefest here in Tala Village. This is really to do with the Blessington steam tram, which would have gone through here and on to Blessington and would have started in Terenure. The Dublin city trams only went out as far as Terenure, as far as I'm aware of. And this would have been the route of the city. This would have been a stop for the tram, for the, the Blessington steam tram and people would have gone in the pub for a drink while they were waiting for the tram and eventually in the mid in the 30s around about 1932 they closed down the Blessington steam tram. I know in the lead up to the Tala Fest we did a piece with uh, the McDonald's and the O'Sullivan's they were originally from Tala they have a strong connection with the yeah. with the tram. That's right the the tram cars on the steam tram they were bigger than this they were what they called bogey trams. They had four, two axles at each end, four wheels at each end. And they continued to 32. And they were enclosed. They were enclosed trams. They had a roof. So we're just going to walk down the steps here, Ben. You're going to bring me inside yep. the, the tram here. And there, just to describe me there now, the inside of the tram for me. Yep. This was our then seating, a lot tidier than today. And people would have sat in rows, they'd have probably got 30 people in here. 30 plus people, plus standing people which have held on to the rails. 